Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. Hope you guys are having a great day. Let me talk to you guys for a couple minutes about hand tools. So, uh, a lot of you guys are always asking, hey Brian, what do you use for uh, blowers, trimmers, edgers, all that kind of fun stuff. It's actually first thing in the morning here. We gotta get running, but I will tell you, timely video, timely update, we got some new equipment. So, a lot of you guys are always asking me like, hey, what are you gonna buy? Like, if, if it was your money, what would you specifically go with? Now, we do get sent some product here from time to time. Very, very thankful for that. Never really expect that, right? Uh, but the reality is I still buy a lot of my own equipment just because I'm not gonna wait on a sponsorship or somebody to send me something. Like, it's not how it works in the real world, right? So just yesterday, we went and picked up two brand new Red Max 8550 leaf blowers, uh, backpack blowers. So here's the thing I've talked about on previous videos. I'm not like super loyal or super biased to any one brand as much as I am to a product that gets the job done, right? So let me talk to you guys really quick, show you. Uh, you good, bud? Yeah, I'm good. All right, so this is, with my own money, the Red Max 8550s, right? So we actually had one leaf blower that kind of had like catastrophic repair failure. The whole vent uh, was just destroyed. And you know, we had beat the old ones out for about three or four years. So we needed a new one. It was like 300 bucks to repair it. Wasn't worth it, so we got a new one. Our other backpack blower that we have, we had two Red Max 8500s. <clears throat> we lost it. We're, we don't. We don't know. We literally yeah. lost it on a job site. We were doing a 24-yard mulch job over the weekend, and we must have just left it some. Left it outside. Someone we, took it or something. We. We honestly have no idea. We both feel like we went back morons. A couple days after, <laughs> trying to find it, and it wasn't there. It, it wasn't was there. The... We we have no idea. Uh, it's embarrassing because uh, that was a two, three, four hundred dollar, you know, hit, and I just got that blower back as well uh, from that weekend, like Friday, and it was a hundred dollar repairs to get that one fixed. And I'm like, anyway, you guys know how that goes, right? So, on what was what's today? Wednesday. Today's, Today's Thursday. <laughs> so Wednesday morning, yesterday morning, at the, hopefully the time of this recording, uh, I called up Weingarts and I said, hey, I need two new leaf blowers. Red Max 8550s, it was 1200 bucks out the door, whatever it is, right? So a lot of you guys are always asking, if I'm gonna spend my money outside a product that's sent to us for review, what are we gonna get? Well, we picked up two Red Max 8550s. They're still my go-to leaf blower that is on the market. What is your guys' go-to leaf blower? Are you guys Echo 9010 fans? Are you guys Steel BR800 fans? Leave me some comments down below. For me, I've just been a Red Max guy. All right, when we talk about trimmers, let's keep it going really quick. We talk about trimmers, same thing, Echo 2620s, okay? I feel over the last three, four years that this is still the hands down best trimmer that is on the market. Love to hear your guys' thoughts, what you think about the 2620s. Comes with a speed feed head, saves me 40 or 50 bucks compared to some of the other brands. I do like my Red Max 260 TSs, but I just feel like engine durability, uh, the power performance, uh, I love the switch. I mean, it's just a sweet trimmer all the way around. And then another question, what do we put on here? These are those Darwin grips. Now, Rob, I'm Mr. Salesman of the world, right? Uh, I'm the advocate for these ones. These You're, are my favorite. This is your jam. For sure. Yeah, so no. so tell me about the Darwin's grips for the tall no, people. No, they help me a lot just for the sole fact, yeah, no, I, when I hold it, you know, I'm bending down like this, trying to, you know, get it level, but with the Darwin's grip, I'm actually able to stand up, lock my arms out, not have to kill my back out. Right. It's been one of my favorite things that you got an attachment for that help has you out. been useful for us. And there you go. So I know you guys know that I'm like the salesman of the world over here, right? And uh, I'm not trying to be, I'm just trying to help you guys with good product out there and if it sounds a little salesy, I apologize. Um, but the Darwin's grip. Now, me personally, I don't really need the Darwin's grip. I'm 5'10". Uh, my back is probably just fused at this point. Uh, that's why it's so stiff and probably have back problems already. Uh, but I've been rocking trimmers without the Darwin's grips for, you know, gosh, 14, 13 years. Uh, if you want to check them out, darwinsgrip.com. Uh, or a lot of you guys add them to your uh, shopping cart last minute at Ballard Products with the Brian's 10 code. Uh, it works at either place. So you guys check that out there. Uh, these are the 5.0s. Let me show you the difference. By the way, this is the new version. Uh, better clamping system here for the neck, right? So it's got a clamp system now. Still some Allen screws that we gotta uh, tighten that down. But then also this, Rob, if you notice, doesn't yeah. spin. Yeah, no. That's, See the different grip? That's what I was noticing when I was just over here playing with it like this, because it's kind of a weird one motion of the there. Problem, 
Well, <laughs> <laughs> so I was probably noticing with this, probably with old ones at least, is yeah, this would start sliding out as you're like holding it, as you like turn it, it would work its way out. Yep. And so, I, no, I already can tell this seems Little, pretty nice. All right, so you got, uh, can you put that on there? Do you mind? I can try. All right, I can try. I like the attitude. So, Red Max blowers, Echo trimmers, these are just my personal favorites right now. Let me show you guys inside the trailer for another quick minute. By the way, if you guys are appreciating the honesty and the thumbs up, um, or the, you know what I'm saying, it's early in the morning, brother. <laughs> uh, now, just because we use Red Max blowers or Echo trimmers doesn't mean I use everything from Echo or everything from Red Max, or we don't use anything from steel, right? So a lot of you guys are always asking me what's my go-to hedge trimmer. Let me see if I can get in here really quick. This is the steel. Uh, HS56C. This thing's like a lightsaber. Okay, I love it. One of my favorite tools when we do pruning. Is it going to get through the thick stuff? Uh, debatable, right? So, like for Scythia, uh, some of the thicker uh, saplings and plants and shrubs, maybe not so much. Absolutely amazing with boxwoods, spirea, the little stuff. Now, Echo 2420, this is my go to hedge trimmer when we got to get through the thick stuff, right? Now, it's been a minute since I bought a hedge trimmer, so I don't really know who is making the best hedge trimmers right now. That's something that I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts because, I'm not sure what that was. Uh, that's about three or four years old. The Echo's four or five years old. That was back when I was uh, part of the Echo UAG program in my first year. So that one, I mean, these things don't last forever, although we use them intermittently. So if you guys know I have a good hedge trimmer, did you hear the horn? You can't, you can't do a video here without a train horn or a truck horn. It's just how it works at my, uh, my yard over here. But I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. What are you guys rocking for a good hedge trimmer? That is my number one question I get that I can't typically answer for you guys because I haven't been in the market for a new hedge trimmer for, you know, like I said, three, four, five years. So anything from Red Max or Echo, leave me some comments. Those new Red Max look really, really nice. Uh, I'm just a little concerned because they don't have the guard all the way down. It's a little bit more of a pro uh, hedge trimmer. Please be very, very careful with hedge trimmers. Uh, Mark Parker will appreciate the safety PSA there. All right, and then let's look at edgers. Uh, edgers right here. This is something that was sent to us was the Echo 2620. This is the bench shaft edger, right? Rob loves that one because he's taller. It just uh, feels better for him when he uses it. Uh, I use the Red Max 2460. I'm not sure if these are still out. Love to hear what you guys are rocking for Red Max edgers if there's new ones that might have replaced this. Same thing, our Red Max Edger <clears throat> is about four years old. It's gonna be due for a replacement before you know it. The Echo, we got two seasons on, this is three, uh, season three. Now, I know a lot of you guys might think in the past, hey, well, you're biased to a brand because you got paid off or you've uh, done some sponsorships with them. To be totally honest with you guys, and sorry for the funky sun, it's bright and early in the morning, we've not taken a dime from any of these companies in regards to product reviews or exposing them or sharing them you know, to you guys. Uh, the only company that's ever sent a check is Echo to sponsor our live event uh, two years ago fall. So that's it. Believe it or not, now, I know some of my biggest fans out there would advocate that we're bought off or paid off by any of these companies. It's just not the truth, guys. Um, <laughs> the funny thing is, if they want to send a check, call me. I'm just having fun. You guys would too, you know what I mean? All right, so the reason I like my Echo 20 620 trimmers, they just freaking last. Uh, legit, we have one up here. You guys can see. So this one right here is the first Echo that we had back with the UAG. This one's about four years old and still, maybe five years old, believe it or not, and still runs like an absolute champ. So that's our backup and we keep it down here. And then also, show a little love to steel, we rock their steel combi 131. I still feel like the combi is the best setup uh, for bed redefining, pull pruning, hedge trimming. Uh, I love it. Uh, I can't really pull out the unit right now, but it's the 131. Uh, I think the other one is the 91 or 94 uh, unit. Uh, go with the 131 if you can afford it. A lot more power you'll appreciate it it's heavy though i'll tell you what it is heavy all right so there you guys go we've got echo trimmers steel combis steel uh hedge trimmers bed redefiner all of our stuff right echo hedge trimmer for the larger stuff echo 20 uh 620 are our main units red max edgers 
If if this Echo pooped out tomorrow, I'd go buy another Red Max Edger. I don't like the curve shaft. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> so like I said earlier, that's our equipment setup. We've got Echoes, we've got Red Maxes, we've got two Echo 2620s, we've got a third Echo 2620. We've got the Red Max 8550s. That's what we're rocking so far, guys. So that's at the end of the day, one for my sunglasses, uh, what well, we're rocking for hand tools. This is our money, okay? One or two items might have been sent, but the reality is, if it's my money, that's what I'm spending it on. Does that answer it all? All right, so leave me some comments down below. What's your guys' favorite brand? What's your guys' favorite product? What's your guys' favorite trimmer? What's your guys' favorite blower? And what's your guys' favorite edger by brand? Leave me some comments down below if you guys wanna jump on in, participate. All right, it's sunny, it's eight in the morning. We gotta get mowing, puffy eyes. I don't get a lot of sleep. How's that Darwin's grip coming? It's coming. All right, Brian's 10 worldwide, right guys? All right, <clears throat> if you guys appreciate the video, big thumbs up. Might wanna check out some of these other great videos here. I'll link them from some of the other product reviews we've done in the past with some of these other brands and some of the other products. But guys, have a beautiful day. Go out there, go make some money, and we'll catch up with you here on the next one.